Hey guys, it's John and welcome to my playthrough of White Day 2, The Flower That Tells Lies. This is an episodic horror game. It's a sequel to uh, White Day, A Labyrinth Named School, which I've not only played the original, but the remake that happened in 2018, 2017, something like that. Um, it's a horror game that takes place in a school. If you haven't seen the first one, I would recommend watching that. I've got a full playthrough up on my main channel. Uh, if you're new around here, Welcome to my second channel, where I post uncut playthroughs. Um, something new I'm trying. So if you've seen me play a lot of horror games before, you may be used to me playing through these games and having lots of cuts. You know, like, uh, I'll wander around and I'll be like, where do I go? Cut. I figure out where to go. Or I'll start doing a puzzle and I'll be like, how do you do this puzzle? Cut. I figure out the puzzle. So, for this one, uh, there's going to be minimal cuts, preferably none, so it's going to be a little bit of a different viewing experience, just to prepare you for that. Now, if you've been watching this channel for the past few months, Spider-Man and all those uh, playthroughs, then you're probably more used to the uncut style, but uh, just letting anyone new around here know that that's what's going to be happening. Um, <clears throat> I know I sound like I'm sick, I just kind of woke up like this. I've got morning voice. I am recording this in the morning. 9.45, early start to the day, just kidding. I have a, I have a child now, and uh, 9.45 is sleeping in, as far as I'm concerned. See, I normally would have cut out that swig, but not gonna happen. Um, right, so, White Day 2, um, it, like I said, it's an episodic game. Episode 1, I believe, came out in February this year, Episode 2 came out in May, and Episode 3 came out in July. A lot of people asked when I was going to play episode one, and I was like, as soon as I saw it was episodic, I was like, I'll just play it when it's all out. And then it all came out in July, and now it's December. So, you're, you're all caught up. I have not heard good things about this game. So I'm excited to see if those claims have any veracity or not. I love saying the word veracity. Let's check the options. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Okay. Cancel. Um, okay, we're in 1440. Medium graphics is fine. I'm not playing White Day for the graphics. It's all good. Okay. I want to see if there were, like, subtitle options, but I guess they're already just on. Content. Wow. So, okay, there's unlockables and stuff. Let's go ahead and just start a new game. We'll play on... Normal, I'm really tempted to go easy just because I think there's none more tedious a challenge in video games than playing horror games on harder difficulties. Uh, and playing easy, we'd just be able to experience it. But whatever, I'll play it on normal. <clears throat> Story one, returning to school. Let's go. Now, this is an event that sets, uh, the first game into motion. Sunday, are you nuts? I'm pretty sure, at least. <gasps> it's been a while since You're I played the first off? game. What did you do last night? You were watching porn, huh? What? No, okay. That, that's crazy. <laughs> Why are you blushing? <laughs> You're pathetic. Hey, Jung. There's something I want to check out today. Where are we going? Something happened last night at Yondu High School. I heard that some recent transfer student was the one behind it. <laughs> Come to Yondu High School after work. Hold on. Didn't you graduate already? I'm going to figure out what happened back then. If you don't want to come, fine. I'll make you sorry, though. Hey. Jung Soo Jin. <laughs> Just put it on my tab. I 
I'm not in love with the dub so far. <sighs> Zhang Songting's a no show, huh? What? These are the worst guards ever. What? Hey, stop right there. Oh my gosh. Why'd you stop? Why'd you pause? Okay, well, we're in the school. Stop? You're the one who wanted me to be here. Huh? Jeez, you scared me. Chung Sung Day. I thought you weren't coming. Hmm. You were worried about me, huh? <laughs> it, it's not like that. <sighs> yeah. No worries, Jung Sung Tae. Something definitely happened here. I think there was a fire. What on earth? I heard some guys say that Sunga's ghost is haunting this building. Can you imagine what it'd be like to meet a ghost? Sung Ah is the uh, girl that died in the fire, Kim pretty Sung sure. Sung Ah was a hell of a person for us, though. One of us loved her dearly. And another loathed her to death. Open the door! I can hear you in there! <gasps> hey! Run! Yeah, let's go ahead and shout that. So wait, are we playing as the dude? Okay, I think so. Um, investigate the auditorium. Should I go? Should I go here or there? Okay, so in the upper right, that's where the uh, goals are. Better search for clues. I'll, I'll move to a different corner if I'm blocking something else here. Well, it's been a while, but I'm back in an indie horror game. Very exciting. What is this? Okay. Do I have a flashlight, by the way, or... No? Okay, so there's some stuff in there. Oh. You can't see this, but there's a door there. Uh, so we have to, I guess, get a key or something to get in. There's um, some collectibles in there. Thanks, Ghost, for the hot tip. God, I sound so sick. <clears throat> what is going on? Okay. Mm. I sound more normal now. Evans number three. A marker that has three written on it. There are traces of a Chinese character erased on the back. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I was I was about to say something, but I just don't, I don't know anything about anything. What can I can I look at this, please? Note from a maintenance worker. Okay. It is impossible to go deeper through the stand because the ceiling structure collapsed. Fortunately, there is a ladder that goes up to the stand inside the auditorium, so I can go to the other side. The operation manager told us to install the hydraulic pump on the other side of the structure, even though I was going to use the hydraulic pump to remove the structure. I had to move that heavy thing with the ladder. I have no idea why we had to work in such a difficult way. Okay, so somebody's whining. Oh, I can't go that way. Oh, you have to go... So if I want to get that blue glowy thing, I have to go to the other side. Now, I, if you watched the first game, or played the first game, this is where the climactic final scene was, the gymnasium. So, I mean, I think so anyway. From what I remember. Fire summary report. An inflammable material was suspected of being involved in the fire at Yondu High School's auditorium. The auditorium sprinkler was activated and the first fire was subdued. After seeing the sprinkler not working immediately after the fire had happened, we are investigating anything that is related. Notably, there have been reports of strange abnormalities from some of the members. It might have been an optical illusion, they all say, due to the stress and exhaustion. But the observations of the members are consistent. It's hard to believe, but they all say they saw a woman that had been burnt. Even harder to believe, the witnesses state that it was a young woman wearing Handbok. I don't know what that is. I'm sure you guys will tell me. I know, I know, I know. Let me tell him. I want to tell him. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, so so far we've just found some notes. Can I... Thank you. Okay, let's just see the other side here. Um... Now, typically on the main channel, this is where there would be a cut. See, you wouldn't have to see all this. But now you're stuck with it. Great. I guess we can go downstairs then, because uh, I don't know what else to do. Run and crouch. Okay, when crouching, it's harder for enemies to spot you. If you run for a long time, you run out of stamina and need to find a safe area to rest. Okay. Uh, you can check your current position location in the schools out with M. Okay. Okay, so, oh, wow. Not bad. I wish we could have, like, a little mini-map, though. Mini-maps are very underrated. Engineering room. Okay. Is that open? No. Four. Okay, so the evidence markers... This is, this is for a puzzle, because the symbols are on, on the back, right? <clears throat> for, this is probably like the order that we need to know them. Now, I don't know what the symbols are, but a uh, correct key needed things. Let me go back and check real quick, because the evidence marker's upstairs. Um, it'll just be better if I know them. So, uh, so this one's three. And this one... You know, like I guess I'm gonna talk on my ass here. It looks a lot like the symbol for water. I think? I only know that because of Yu-Gi-Oh. Don't shove me in a locker. Okay. Right, and that's number two. So where's number one? It's probably not the symbol for water, is it? I'm probably misremembering. It has been like 15 years. Ah, uh, that's not a symbol for water. <laughs> he's so, he's so confident about being wrong. You can light up the dark areas with the flash. But there's a risk of being spotted, so be careful. You know, you keep telling me these things, like... There's gonna be a patrol around the corner, but I haven't seen shit. I haven't seen anything. Um, found a hexagon-shaped wind plate that had the word water. That's- that's the one! That's all I saw! Isn't it? <clears throat> that's the symbol. Right there. Written on it while working on the scene. Despite the big fire, which definitely happened yesterday, there's no evidence of it having been burnt by fire. When I picked up to take a closer look, I heard a sharp screech. When I turned around, a badly burnt woman was glaring at me with a furious look in her eyes. I got so startled, I dropped the wooden plate. It split into four pieces and disappeared. The woman also screamed and disappeared at the same time. Was the woman a fire ghost? What's a fire ghost? Uh-huh. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so... Let's see... That's four... That's... That's two. Okay, so we just need one. I'm hoping that it stays like that. Oh my gosh. On scene investigation subject, Yondu High School Auditorium. Um, evidence number one in front of the auditorium engineering room. So this tells you where the evidence markers are. So where's engineering? Oh. Is it, wait, is it back there? Oh, oh, it's right here. Ah, is that fire? Is it the, the, the symbol for fire? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hi. It's a fire ghost, y'all. Water plate fragment acquired. Okay. Let me just look at this again. Oh, wait, maybe this is... Oh. Wait a second. Is this the symbol I saw? Oh. 
Wait, so this is the symbol for water. Okay. So I don't know what I'm talking about. My bad. <laughs> I told him he didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> Key to the photo studio acquired. Well, where's the photo studio, bro? Floors move. Is that... I actually don't know. Is it, is it the... The... Hallway we just got walked out of, or... What, did I say walked out of? Locked out of. Listen, okay. I'm gonna use this excuse a lot. Damn straight. I got a five month old baby, okay? You know how much that thing sleeps? Not enough. Not nearly enough. I know I'm supposed to be like losing stamina, but like. Pfft. Okay. Oh, to the. Oh, oh, hall project. Oh! The hall projection booth is a lot different than the photo studio. Can I say that? Let me in. Okay, so this is another part of the water plate. Newspaper scraps. On March 13th yesterday, there was a fire, assumed to have been caused by arson at Yondu High School's auditorium. The auditorium was burned to the ground, and a girl was found dead. According to school officials, this girl always wandered around the school. Even trespassed there outside of school hours. Hmm. Sounds like someone else we know. Police are looking for any connection between the girl and the arson. It's worth noting that this is similar to the incident in which a girl died in a fire in the home ec room three years ago. That's Sung Ah that they're talking about, who is from the first game. Excuse me. Key to the left hall corridor. Okay. The left hall corridor. So wait, wait, which one's the left hall? Um, can I bring up inventory? So like, can I combine these or? I guess just when I get all four, then I'll, I'll be good. So this is what we need the water plate for. Left hall corridor. Um, can I, can I open this one up here? Is this the left hall corridor? Oh. No. Um, okay. It's gotta be downstairs then. Cause everything else, nothing else opens. Boom, 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 boom. I'm clicking. Boom, 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 boom. Click in. Boom. We just went in there. Is it this one? Item can't be used. Okay. Hang on. What was the... What's for flashlight? R. Why is R for... Oh my gosh, and it's a horrible flashlight. I haven't seen a flashlight this bad, bad in a long time. Um, I mean, at least it lights stuff up. Thanks. So, are you sure this isn't open? Okay. Okay. And there's nothing in here that opens. And I got everything in here, right? Okay. Why doesn't he just cut this out? Because that requires effort. And if you want me to put post-production effort into this channel, you ain't gonna get daily videos. This open? Oh, oh, oh. 
That's the trade-off. You get daily videos on this channel, but they gotta be uncut. That's the way I've worked it out. That's the only way that it works. I wonder if I should just go... Yeah. Yes, hello. Okay. Key to the hall corridor. Um, okay. These are not very descriptive. Okay, so I just went all the way down. So far, this has been kind of a key hunt. Which is like, I mean, I guess it's okay for the intro, but it's definitely not as uh, interesting to play as the first one so far. Now, this was developed by Rootin Studio. Where? Up there? Yeah, okay. Is that just like the last one? I think it is. The last, uh... Last water plate, rather. What? How did that happen? So the ladder just crashed down behind me. Okay, so we've got... All four water plate fragments. So now we gotta go back around. That doesn't open. Um, so we can't get back down. Oh. Well, that made a lot of noise. Aren't there people looking for us? You're telling me you couldn't just squeeze in there? Okay. Did I took damage from that? I wasn't even sure what was happening at first. It's okay, guys. We're looking for. Her. Um, is there? I'm amazed that there's no lighting options, like no brightness. Really, none? Because the game's kind of dark, as as is usually the case. Wait, I pressed F. And then the overlay went away? Huh? Let's find the missing Sujin. Okay. Natural recovery will start once your health is depleted. Oh. Won't activate. Natural recovery won't activate work while you're being chased. So get some rest in a safe area. Let's answer the phone. Happy birthday to you. I can't. It's just. Can we? I can't answer it. I'm clicking. Um. It's off the hook, so I guess. Oh, it's locked. Okay, I was like, what are you wanting me to do? Okay, so this is locked as well. Memo from facility manager. We have not received the tool that was used to cut the lock on March 7th yet. Please return it as soon as possible. That's two PE teachers. So I'm guessing we'll find a tool in the PE teacher's room or something. That's locked. Okay. The nightmare in the small hall. In my dream, I was standing in the middle of the small hall. 
There were mannequins, fixed in the stand holders, covered in tears of blood. I was so scared. I pushed and pulled the door to get out, but it wouldn't budge. Then I saw a piece of paper on the floor. Find my body. I thought a limbless mannequin was talking to me. That gave me the idea that I might be able to escape this place once I find its limbs. It might sound bizarre, but it didn't feel so weird in the dream. I detached the limbs from other mannequins to find them, but then those other mannequins began waving their arms and legs to come after me. Armless mannequins and legless mannequins coming after me. It was so scary. And the other mannequins got me, but then I woke up. It was a creepy nightmare. Great. Thanks for uh, bestowing us with that knowledge. Disposable camera. If you take a picture of the enemy with F, you'll be able to stop their movements. However, you can't stop the movements of ghosts. Okay, I was about to say, so it's like Dreddo. Which, you know, now that time has passed, Dread Out 2? Big disappointment. Ghost photos. There's a photo of a ghost spot in the opinion ballot box taken by So Yi. You can collect ghost photos by taking pictures in the ghost spot using a F. The key to the locker is hidden somewhere in the school, so please find it. Okay. You gave me lots of homework. Note from a member of the photography club. Su Hyun, aren't you curious about why the cabinet in our photography club is always locked? I was always curious about it. The teacher just tell us not to touch it when we ask them about it. Where do you think the key that can open the cabinet is? Rumor says that you can find it on the first floor girl's bathroom in the main building one. But didn't they say it was under construction when they were fixing the ventilation system yesterday? So I got to crawl in to the girl's bathroom through a vent. Okay. Right. Um, now this has a combination. Okay, so there's like sun, moon, and then whatever is that middle symbol. Dear members of the photography club, the wall between the photography club and the gym storage has been taken down due to the unfortunate gym closet incident. This recent tragedy has caused an upheaval at our school. A student has leaked the school's internal affairs to a reporter in an interview. Do not agree to interviews when asked, and take care not to lose focus on your studies because of the rumors. Oh, we're not going to take the cassette player? Come on! Well, what great photography. The photography club? Anyone else not impressed? New photography club member welcoming ceremony. I will write the passcode to our club's shared cabinet lock for the newly rec uh, recruited members, but since we can't just give it out for free, the answer is within the picture. So if you're a member of the photography club, try to figure it out. P.S. The pictographs drawn on the lock are the sun, wood, and the moon. Okay, so this is a good clue. Let's see. The answer is within the picture. Okay, so there's two suns. Are we supposed to count how many? Okay, so there's two suns. There's two moons. And then wood. One, two, three, four. There's four trees. Five trees. My bad. So is it... Is the code 252? No. There we go. It is. Nice. Okay. Easy puzzle so far. I got a history book. Boring! <laughs> history book that can be used on the bookshelf in first year classroom 10. Okay. Well. Great. I mean, I hadn't, I hadn't gotten that far yet. Can I turn the light on? No. Okay, I heard something. You can't open these. Is this like the lost and found or something? What is this? Um, there's just straight up nothing in here. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Key to opinion toll box. What the hell? An opinion toll box. Is that... <clears throat> Excuse me. Is that one of these? Uh, or th this? Okay, it is. Okay. 
the hanging student. Miss A's friend, Miss B, had a trivial fight. Oh, come on. You're going to make it anonymous? Miss B said she'll wait for Miss A in the home ec room because she wanted to make up with her. However, Miss A did not go, and there was a fire in the home ec room that night. After Miss B's death, Miss A suffered from guilt. In the end, her hanging dead body was found at school. Ever since, they say Miss A is witnessed at school from time to time. Wow. So... Wait, which one is which one is Sung Ah then? So Miss B. Miss B is Sung Ah? From the fire in the home ec room? And then Miss A was the girl that was like in the in the window that we saw. And so she hung herself? Really? Okay, because I know who that is based on the first game. So that's the hanging student. Oh. I think we actually see the hanging student in this room in the first game. It's been a while since I played the first game, so I'm a little fuzzy on the details, but... Um... Let me check the... Okay. So, gym closet, photography club, hiking club. So we need to go down to the first floor... To classroom 10, is that right? Or... Oh, maybe not. I don't know. It moved on its own, did you see that? How do you explain that? What are you doing here? I opened the door, but I freaked out when I saw there's no one here. I heard someone calling my name. Then, when I got here, it was just me and Han Na Young. Han Na Young? Right. She's the girl who committed suicide back in sophomore year. Why did she call my name? Does she want me to make things right after she died? I've got a great Maybe idea. this could be related to Sunga's death. Let's just it leave. It makes sense. Sunga and Nayong were very close. This is too much, oh. man. This is overwhelming. Don't you want to know why Sunga died? Not really. It must have just been an accident. I want to go home and play video games. You're not afraid of what we might find out, are you? <sighs> I'm disappointed in you, Jung Sung Tae. Fine. Do what you want. I'll find out the truth. What's with all this determination? What's with uh, the constantly separating? Yo, come back. Can I have your number? Facility maintenance request from the head of the school to facility management department. The key broke while trying to unlock the third floor shutter lock. The lock needs to be cut away to open the third floor shutter. Requesting the facility management department to cut the lock and purchase a replacement. So we need like bolt cutters or something. Oh yeah, wasn't there something in like the the girl's bathroom? Ooh. It's haunted, y'all. Oh yeah, it's haunted. Confirmed. Now, I believe in the first game, this is where you get like a step ladder and you climb up into the vents. I didn't see anything. Did I miss something? Uh, there's just nothing in here. I love all the shattered mirrors. This this derelict school is in a state of disrepair. Look at this. I feel like I'm playing like a humongous entertainment game. Pajama Sam 2, the flower that lies. Instead of white day 2. Oh my god. This is from the first game. And that's just there? Like, that hasn't been... So this is, like, immediately following the events of the first game, I guess. I'm not, like, really clear on the timeline. Maybe they clarified it and I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. Like, I guess that's why things are cordoned off and there were security guards like, nobody go in there. First year classroom 10. Is that... Well, that's not where I am. Why did you... Oh, it's because it's locked. Okay. I was like, why do you want me to put the history book in there? It's so weird. 
Okay, I hope this isn't some kind of like puzzle. Open the lockers. Uh, open the correct lockers. Yeah, you get it. And this is the same one. Oh. Oh, it's just chalk. Okay. Wait, come back. Door is locked and won't open. Really? Okay, so we, well, we can go up the stairs. Or... Yeah, or down the stairs. Might want to go down the stairs. But let's... Because I think the shutter's right here, right? Yeah, and we need, uh... We need, like, bolt cutters or something to get in there. Something down here. The basement horror. Have you heard? Apparently there's a basement in our school building. Wow, what a rumor. Who hasn't heard that, dude? No one knows because it was built such a long time ago. They say there was a hospital here before a school was built. So this basement is full of lost souls that died in the hospital. They say that if you step inside, you won't be able to come back alive. It's just a story, but isn't it creepy? So the story is that there's ghosts in the basement and if you go in there, you'll die. Not really a creepy story. But, I mean... Sure. It makes you feel better. It's, it's very scary. <clears throat> I just wanted to look in the mop bucket. Sometimes there's stuff in there. Sometimes there's loot, bro. Uh-huh. So you never know what you're gonna find. Mental anxiety. Oh, I can't wait to read this. <sighs> Once there was a girl who was far, or who was from an unhappy family. Maybe it was due to her unstable mental state, but she didn't have good relationships at school. She was living in a hell at home and at school. She eased her agony by cutting her wrists. Every time she hurt herself, she felt alive. She began coming to school with bandaged wrists, but as always, no one really pitied her. They would just sneer at her. At last, the girl decided to end her own life. The next morning, the students found her in the middle of the classroom in a puddle of blood. Her body was covered in slashes. Okay, well, I was gonna make fun of it, but then it turned out to be really tragic. I mean, that's, I, I feel like calling that note mental anxiety is really underselling it. No, come back. Oh, that was funny. I wouldn't see it. Oh, Legs McGee getting sucked into the vent. What's the point of him playing this game if he doesn't get scared by it? Let's check the sink. Sometimes I like to hide keys in sinks. I've played enough of these. To find, find that out. Okay. Okay, we can go down there in a sec. Oh. Random get opinion toll box. Again. Can't open it. Door is locked, won't open. Okay. Alright. Um well then I guess we'll just go down here then. We're in the home ec room right now. Hello? I heard a ghost shuffling around in here. Oh, oh, oh. Opinion toolbox key. I'm gonna need to understand what an opinion toolbox is. I mean, like I noticed those things on the wall, but like, what is it? Must open the lock. Okay, so. Murder by Dismemberment 2. Oh, good. I was waiting for the sequel. There were others who were killed like me. It's been a long time since they lost their minds from their grudge and excruciating suffering. Maybe they think they can't pass on because their bodies rot away. They get in my way as I try to find my own body's parts. And they get angry and attack whenever I'm just trying to take back what's mine. How did you write this? I'm a ghost looking for my body. Anyway. <laughs> 
I'm gonna write this note and stick this in the opinion toll box. And under under lock and key. Okay. Oriental knowledge class. Four guardian gods in the five circles. The four guardian gods represent the blue dragon, white tiger, vermilion bird, and black tortoise, who are holy beasts guarding east, west, south, and north. Respectively, or which one goes with which? They protect the order of the universe and are concerned to look over spring, autumn, summer, and winter. Each of the four guardian gods also represents each of the five elements. What? Well, then one of them's got to represent two. That's not fair. Blue dragon represents wood. White tiger represents gold. Vermilion bird represents fire. And the black tortoise represents water. In this way, the four guardian gods and the five circles are the most essential parts of oriental studies that cannot be left out. Okay. Uh, I assume that's for a puzzle? Okay, we gotta get a key for that. Maybe it's over here. No. Man, we got key to opinion toll box. Um, so maybe there's another opinion toll box that we can open. Because it says that can't open. And there's nothing really in here. Okay. So clearly, I've got to go into the machine room. I've got another um, opinion toolbox key. But where is the opinion toolbox? You know? So wait, this doesn't open at all. Two six isn't open at all. I wish it would like mark it on the map as like you can't do this or something like that. Um, there's not really a whole lot of places to go at the moment. I guess I'll look for another opinion toolbox. Maybe I have to go back upstairs to the second floor. Maybe there's another one that I missed. Let's look around real quick. Look on the wall. Is there one inside the classroom here, for example? It's the scratching ghost. Or the chalkboard ghost. Okay. So this doesn't open that? Okay. I thought maybe it, it might. Okay, so here... Wait, can I open this? No? Okay, um... I can't tell if the sound's coming from like up here or down there. Oh, wow. The the phone that was ringing earlier is completely gone. There's not even a third phone there. Door is firmly shut. Oh, okay. Well, not really. Um, I don't think I have to go all the way back there. That seems wrong. So I'm going to I'm going to stay in this area. Oh my gosh. What? Locker key to second year classroom 12. That was just like, that was, that was so hard to find. It was like in their desk. I found that on my own, by the way, because uh, there's no text walkthrough for this game and uh, no offense, but I'll be damned if I'm going to watch a long video of someone playing through this game uncut <laughs> to find a, a puzzle solution or to find a... Well, really, just to find out where, where a key is. Um, yeah. 
And now, if you want to watch me do that, that's totally fine. But wait, wait, that's the key to this. We're into 12. Oh, it can open the locker. Oh. And we get the Diary of the Theater Club's president. So that's not quite what we were looking for. We went on a dare just because one of the theater club members suggested it. As president of the theater club, I should have stopped it. I only wanted to chip the members exhausted from days of late night theater practice. I never imagined it would lead to this horror. The body was found at the bicycle club. They say that it was cruelly maimed, especially on the face. Even I don't know the details because the school is trying to cover this up. According to the occult club, many ghosts hold a grudge toward Yondu High. Maybe it was the wrong decision to test your courage with a ghost like that. Sweet. So, so we don't get anything. Okay, well now, now I'm like... Because the, the, the key was like right there. I mean, you'll see it in the... But now I'm... Now I'm like, oh my god, is there... Are there other ones that are that easy to miss? I don't know, I'm just like, how thorough do I need to be? I just would think... I don't know. Um, I still haven't found the key to the machine room. Or... Wait, what was, um... What's that document? There was a document, like, way early on about the girls' bathroom or something. Uh, maybe not that one. No, from a firefighter. I dropped the wooden plate. Uh-huh. Where the evidence is. Uh... The tool that was used to cut the lock. What am I- what am I talking about? Wait, what is this? Okay, I found out an amazing fact. How, how did I not have this before? There's no doubt that hidden within Yondu High School, there's a secret so incredible that we can't even begin to imagine it. <laughs> wow. They're setting the expectations high. You know, there are so many rumors within the school about how Yondu High School was a prison for political prisoners during the Japanese colonial period, or the rumor about how there was a strange hospital where so many people died where the school was built. I don't know if it's true or not, but at the minimum, but at a minimum, the part about how a lot of people died in this area seems to be true, because I took my camera and took pictures here and there to try and get to the bottom of the rumor, and there were a lot of ghost pictures. Don't you want to take ghost photos too? For those of you who do, I left pictures of the locations where you can take ghost pictures. I put those pictures in the lockers somewhere within the school, and I hid the keys to open the lockers all over the school. Think of it as a treasure hunt. It's going to be fun. So, okay, is that what I just read? Here we go. The key that can open the cabinet. First floor girl's bathroom. First floor girl's bathroom. Well, that's a key that can open the cabinet. Don't I already, don't I already have that? Did I, did I find one in here? Ah! Huh? All I had to do was read the note. Wow. It's amazing what can happen when you read. Having fun isn't hard when you've got a library card. It's what Arthur said. Oh, oh, it's it's this one right here. Okay, here we go. Key to the machine room. All right, let me in here. What? I like how there's just a, like, like the cabinet's not opening or anything. Nice. Photography club secret cabinet acquired. Ooh. Now see these blue drills? That means they're cobalt brand. With a K. Uh, <clears throat> I did find out that I have a lot of vocal fry right now because of my morning voice. <laughs> um. Wait, where is it? Photography club cabinet and the photography club is on the second floor okay next to the hiking club the hiking club doesn't have shit dude i went up there nothing 
Well, that was very polite of them to close it behind me. Thank you. Okay, here we go. I'm having trouble falling asleep to John's video right now. Because of the way his voice sounds. Alright. Oh! I, I honestly didn't expect that. Okay, cool. Here we are. Can I open this? No, I have to exit through the locker. Damn. Okay. Soccer ball. Oh! The blue cutter. So now we can go to the third floor. This is the uh, tool that the PE teacher uh, didn't return. And I think that's all that's in here. Okay. So far, uh, this game has been a seemingly endless item hunt. No, 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 I want to, I want to go through here. No, you don't understand. Now you can close it. Okay. Uh, there we go. We gotta get immersed in this cutscene, so I'm taking the face cam away. Look at our progress, guys. This is indie horror game progress right here. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. 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 So we're gonna... Okay, so the janitor's going in there. You hear the static going off constantly? Haunted bookcase. There's a bookcase called the Haunted Bookcase in the first year classroom 10. Surprisingly, there are textbooks in it, and they say that if any of the books are missing for some reason, the locker won't open. Because of that, it is very annoying when students who like to play tricks steal the books, which happens often. Even this time, a student from the photography club and one from classroom 1-5 Stole a science book and a history book. I should find them tomorrow and give them a good scolding. Well, I did find one of the books. Wait, it says cutters needed. That's not right. Cutters needed for what, bro? Okay, so... The janitor went that way. I like how they were just like, yeah, here's the evil janitor. Safety code of conduct. There are tips coming in about a masked woman appearing in the fourth floor hall. Teaching staff on duty must follow the code of conduct below for their own safety. If you see a woman wearing a red coat in the fourth floor hall after 10 p.m., run away immediately. Afterward, notify the school watchman that you are safe. If you can't run away from her, she will ask you a few questions. Reply truthfully, but don't agitate her. She's not a normal person. Do not let her take her mask off. Well, I would quit. I would straight up just quit. Get me out of here. Do these open? No. Uh, keys in the sink. Keys in the sink. It's like bees in the trap. Oop. Keys in the sink. Key keys in the sink. I don't see anything. Oh, that door closed. Ooh. Now I can't look down the long hallway. Bloody sink slash red paint. The only thing I found in these bathrooms is, well, the machine room key, actually. And a note. Let's take a look at the map. Bicycle club is that way. There's also the library and photo studio. I'm gonna go that way real quick. Maybe we can open those. Can't open. Okay. Can't open. Oh. 
Can't open this one. Door is sealed by a sigil. Now I can't open this. The hand in the dark. There was a student who found it hard to hand around with other students. I don't know what that means. <laughs> one day she passed out while walking along the hallway that connects the new building to the old building. It was a peculiar incident. When she woke up, she looked around in alarm. The place was covered in darkness. Walking along the dark hallway by feeling the wall with her hands, she started to feel strange. The hallway seemed to be endless, no matter how much she walked. It wouldn't take her more than a minute normally. Realizing this horror, she passed out. The next day she was found dead in the middle of the hallway. It was a heart attack that killed her. After this, they say her soul wanders the hallway. Apparently she reaches out to students when she sees them walking along the hallway alone at night. Right. Um. I mean, I'm just looking. Can I buy anything? I want like an instant lunch or something. Give me some soybean milk. Okay, there's nothing here. That I can see anyway. There might be like a key in like the corner of the room. This sucks. I mean, we can juke him here. Okay. He got a free hit. That one's free, bud. That one's free. I am not losing him. This sucks. This sucks, dude. This how are you supposed to get away from him? What? He's too fast. So that was really annoying. Seriously. Holy hell. Um, let's hope that we don't run into him again. How do you save? How do you save in this game? Does it autosave when you hit like a new cutscene or something? Can I, can I crouch? Can you hide anywhere? Why would he, why would he just randomly come into this one? Come on, dude. Oh no, I'm, I'm literally stuck. This sucks. He body blocks you in the... Do you want to restart the game? Okay. Um... Okay, he's coming up. Okay, now I haven't found anything so far. Like, if we look at the map, like, I went... I went to the library, which is cut off with a, a, a sigil. The photo studio is locked. There's nothing in the restrooms. So what I should do is I should go this way. Um, yeah, okay. So the janitor in the original White Day is, like, kind of annoying. But you can still, you can give him the slip. This guy's, like, relentless. I'm not a fan. Just game design wise. Oh, I will say, um, hang on 
on one second. Sorry, my... You might hear a ding in the background. That's my phone. Oh. Gotta get this collectible. The Hand in the Dark. An integral story. Okay. So yeah, I got caught in a dead end just then. That, that was annoying. Okay. Let's go this way now. Must open the lock. Okay. Oh, okay. So here's um another opinion toolbox or whatever. Must open the lock. Well, what is it? Oh, I have no idea. That's for what? One five? Okay. I guess I'll be on the lookout for that. I find it very annoying that... Oh yeah, these are all empty, right? I find it very annoying that you can open completely empty lockers like that. Okay, yeah, note to self, don't get caught in a dead end like that. Oh my gosh. Disposable camera. Okay. Oh, you can... You can stun him with the disposable camera. Okay, so like... Oh my god, that's what you do. Oh, it makes more sense now. It makes a lot more sense. Okay. I got it. Okay, let's hope that he doesn't come in here. Bicycle Club's all-time results. Number one won the eighth group cycling competition. Number two won second place in the 38th bicycle race. Number three won the 40th bicycle race. Number four won the eighth second. P.S. You can check the dates of the trophy displayed near the small auditorium. Is that... That's that's a puzzle solution. Gotta be. 8, 38, 40, 82. So I assume that 1, 2, 3, 4 is the order. 8, 38, 40, 82. 8, 38, 40, 82. Don't come in here, bro. We have pride in the Bicycle Club. Most of the trophies in front of the small auditorium belong to the Bicycle Club. We have so much pride that even the password to the lock on the Bicycle Club locker is the date we won. The pride is really something else. Okay. The date that we won. Um, so that's... Um, let's see. The date. Oh, the trophy display. Okay. The 82nd National Sports Competition. So number four, I would think, would be it, right? The date we won. I mean, winning the national. Dude, seriously, it is like playing a humongous entertainment game. Fucking Freddy Fish over here. Notice of club disbandments. Please note that the Bicycle Club and Theater Club have been disbanded August 19th, 1997. Really? Okay. Alright, so we need the fire element here, or whatever. Okay. So there's another... Oh, uh, okay. So the, the map really opens up now. So wait, where's the trophy cabinet? It's like... Um... The small auditorium. Where where's the small auditorium? Is that over here? Uh Okay, so the second floor is the one that connects everything. I'm not seeing a small auditorium here. 
But okay. Thanks. I'll you know I'll check that out later. Should I go down the stairs? You know, I didn't finish up checking out the classrooms over here, so I'm gonna do that. And uh we're actually nearing time for this video. Uh, okay. It's the scratching ghost again. Although, it doesn't really mean much, does it? I got another disposable camera. Morse code remote control. Oh. Opinion toolbox. Nice. Okay. Yeah, there's a couple of those out in the hallway that we can open. Although, really, I figured out that that's just basically for lore. Now, did I open this one? Or, no, I didn't, because these are all closed. Okay. Um... Okay, I'm gonna close these after I open them. Completely closed. Great. So this this room had absolutely nothing in it. Um Yeah, let's open this. No, no way. This one had nothing. I can't believe that. Nothing? There's another one even further that way. Okay. Well, that's very annoying. That had nothing in it. That shouldn't happen. My opinion, shouldn't happen. Okay. Let's, uh, well, let's see if we can go upstairs, actually. Fourth floor. Oh, where am I? Theater club. Oh, small auditorium. This actually is where we need to go. For that bicycle. Let's do that real quick. Oh. Let's check the trophies. What you want to bet that's what the janitor is right now. I want to check the small auditorium as well. Okay, so I go all the way down, and that's where the trophy cabinet is. Now... Do I check all these? Oh my gosh. Uh, so many of these rooms are just like, they have nothing in them. You know? Oh, this is like, locked? Alright. I mean, if I'm getting more disposable cameras, then that's good. Oh, wait. In that last one? In that last room? I bet the key of the locker was in that classroom, because that's... That's where I found it last time. It was in the room. I hear him. 1-8 is the one. We can go. Okay. Let me check. Yeah, I don't... Actually, I don't see it. Huh. Okay, I was wrong, actually. It's not here. 
I'm gonna wait. Where'd the janitor go? I don't hear him. Bro, I gotta get to the small auditorium. Okay. Must open the lock. I guess he went this way. Which, which means he'll be coming back this way, you would think. Okay. As I thought, there's nothing in the lockers. Okay, you know what? Where the hell is he? Oh my gosh. I'm so tired of hearing that sound. You never know when you're gonna find something. Okay. So, I went through all those, and, like, I think 110 is locked. Oh, what? Uh, you need, like, the earth thing? Uh, earth plate? Okay. So, here we go. The Bicycle Club's winning plaque. 82. 426, 90, 95. I'm glad I brought the plain text. 426, 95. Wait. 425, 1987. 416, 96. Okay. Well, then... Hang on one one moment. Are they all? Are they are they all codes that we need? They just been in 1997. Well, that makes sense. The lock on the bicycle club locker is the date we won. But there's four dates that you won. Is it just one that we need to to get? Um well, since I'm about to end the video, um, let's just see, because there, there was like a puzzle solution guide. Let's see. Oh, you use all four. Oh, okay. Thanks. That's that's all I need to know before I went. Oh, you fuckhead. Okay, I think I can remember them. There were like three April dates. It was like 416. There was a 426 in there. What's that sound I hear? Oh, that's that's locked. Okay. Alright, let's go down to the bicycle club and then I I don't know how saving works in this game. Okay, here's here's the bicycle club. Okay, now do I have to like Like does it matter? Okay. O four one six. No. O four two six. No. Oh wait, is it 2-5? I think it's 2-5. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, I think. So if they're in order. Okay, 0426. Diary of the Bicycle Club's president. 
the bicycle club is going to get disbanded because of the death of a member of the theater club in the bicycle club's room. A member of the theater club went to the bicycle club room on a dare, but was found with her lips cut from ear to ear inside there after practice was over. I heard that the freshman girl from classroom seven dared her to do this since she's been interested in the masked ghost. According to the occult club, the masked ghost died an unjust death, but since they messed with a ghost like that, they must have had it coming. Okay. Well, that's that's a take, I guess. Um, so that was what oh four two six. I actually don't know because it got rid of the so three. Uh, oh four one six. Thank God. Okay. So that narrows it down. This literally had nothing. I memorized four different dates, and you're gonna give me nothing. Okay, um, two. Let's see. Is it June 25th? No. Uh, um, it would, that means it was July. Uh oh. I can't remember the last one. Don't come in here. Don't come in here. Literally, I will destroy you. Okay. This was... This was June 25th, though. That's what I thought. Okay. First year, classroom 10. Ah, okay. So that's what we need to progress. Nice. And then... Must open the lock. Must open the lock. Okay. Oh, seven. One, two. That was it. Okay. I couldn't remember. And just a disposable camera. How many of these do I have? Oh, they each have one shot in them. Oh, so I shouldn't be using them so lackadaisically. Okay. So next we go to classroom 110, which is... Uh, wait, where is that? Oh, it's on the fourth floor by the small auditorium. Okay. Of course I heard the I heard the guy pass by here. Let's do that, because I think we've got the books required for that. And then we'll end the video. I just can't get enough of White Day 2, guys. I'm sitting here just like Oh my gosh. What a great game. I don't want to run because I think that alerts the janitor and he is so annoying. One nine, so one ten, okay. So we'll open the door here. Okay, yeah. Thanks. Okay, now what? <laughs> now what? Um... I remember that ghost from the first game. I just completely forgot. Doors locked and won't open. Okay. Here we go. So, this is where the book goes. Oh wait, do we need another book? Oh, where was the other book? Hang on, there was, uh, uh, it was like, uh... No... Okay... Uh... No, wait, wait, where was it? Oriental Knowledge Class? No. Where did I read about the books? I read- didn't I read that somewhere? Okay. Scribbled note. I think the bookcase in our class is haunted. Why does strange stuff happen when I organize the books for Wednesday's schedule? Wednesday's schedule, you say. What's Wednesday's schedule? I don't know. 
this? I hear the stupid janitor again. Wednesday's schedule. I don't know, is there like a... Is there like a list somewhere? He went to the room next to me. Um... Well, I need another book anyway. So... I think... Oh boy, there's just really not a good like stopping point, is there? Uh, let's take a look. Let's see. One F. I haven't gone down to one F yet. I wish that you could like mark stuff off on the map. Like it's nice that there's a map, but I kind of wish that there was like a Resident Evil factor to it where you could like cross some stuff off. I don't know. We haven't been to we haven't been to one F. We've we've been to like two six, but we haven't been to two five through two one. We haven't been to the print room, student record room. I don't know. I think I've been to every other floor, and he's on this one, so let's just go actually. I'm just gonna run. I'm just not sure how this game saves. How does it save? Three F. Okay. Yeah. Three F. Two F. One F. We haven't been to one F. Let's do that, and then I'll end the video. How about that? I keep saying I keep like moving the goalposts. Like I'll end the video. All right. Great. Wait. So how am I supposed to get into this area? Oh well. Um. Yeah. Well, we'll go ahead and just end the video there, and I'll just assume that it saved at some point. Um, right, so white day two so far. Um, not thrilled so far. The The new janitor is like, I don't know, he's too fast. Um, and I like that there's a stun for him at least. The stun's really powerful. But yeah, the gameplay so far, like, it feels like there's less of a reason for us to be here this time than there was in the first game. And it kind of just seems like so far we're doing really generic key hunts and, and item gets and just stuff like that. And there's been a couple jump scares, but I don't know. I'm going to need, like, the story to do something because it kind of just seems like they were like, let's make another White Day game so far. Uh, and it's not really hooking me. But maybe it will if I keep playing. Ooh. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Think critically.